Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're looking at multiplying and dividing fractions. Let's start with multiplying fractions. And we've got an example here. 2 thirds times 6 sevenths. To multiply fractions we just multiply the top and we multiply the bottom. Multiply the top and multiply the bottom. 2 times 6 is like that and 3 times 7 like that. 2 times 6 will give us 12, 3 times 7 will give us 21. Okay? Now, as ever, we need to simplify our fraction and we divide the, uh, simplify this fraction by dividing the top and the bottom by 3. Divide by 3, divide by 3, we will get 4 sevenths as a final answer. Okay? Let's see one more example. Uh, so here we've got 2 and 1 third times 3 quarters. And the first thing we need to do is make it into improper fractions. So this is a mixed number, make it into improper fractions. If you haven't seen my uh, video on mixed numbers and improper fractions, you need to watch that now before you continue, and the link will be at the top of the video. We do 2 times 3 plus 1 is 7, and it's 7 thirds times 3 quarters. We multiply the top and we multiply the bottom. 7 times 3 is 21, 3 times 4 is 12. We divide by 3, we divide by 3, and we get 7 quarters, but that can be written as a mixed number. 7 quarters is the same as 1 and 3 quarters. You can see that uh, picture of that at the top, at 7 quarters, which is the same as 1 whole and 3 quarters. Again, I have a video on improper fractions and mixed numbers, if you're not sure. And that is the final answer, one and three quarters. Now, defining fractions, uh, you need to remember this rule. Keep, change, flip. We keep the first fraction, we change the divide to times, and we flip uh, the last fraction upside down. Keep, change, flip. We keep the first fraction the same, we change the divide to a times, and we flip the other fraction upside down. So 1 fifth divided by 3 tenths is equal to 1 fifth times 10 thirds. Keep, change, flip. Now we just continue as we multiply in fractions. 1 times 10 divided by 5 times 3. That's 10 fifteenths, like this. 10 fifteenths can be simplified by divided by 5, divided by 5, and we'll get 2 thirds, which is the final answer. Okay, and see so this example, 5 6 divided by 10. Now for this one, we just have to remember that 10 is the same as 10 once. So we always write the fraction as, uh, as the number as a fraction. 5 6 divided by 10 once, we're going to keep, change, flip. Keep the first fraction, change the divide to times, and then flip the last fraction upside down. Keep, change, flip. 5 6 times 1 tenth, we multiply the top, multiply the bottom. 5 times 1 is 5, 6 times 10 is 60. We divide by 5, divide by 5 to simplify, and we get 1 twelfth. And that is the final answer. Okay. Finally, let's do this one. This is a 1 and a th 1 third divided by 2 and 2 fifths. We make it into improper fractions. As we did before, we keep, we change, and we flip. Multiply the top, and we multiply the bottom. 4, fifths, four times 5 is 20, 3 times 12 is 36. Divide by 4, divide by 4, and we get 5 ninths, which is the final answer, and we can finish there. Okay, so I've got some practice questions for you to try here. Uh, if you'd like to rewatch the video one more time so you really understand how to do each step, then just rewind the video before you start. But if you're ready, pause the video now and try these questions on pen and paper yourself. It should take you between 5 and 10 minutes. Good luck, and I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. Okay, 
See if you got it right and give yourself a tick. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty more videos coming every week. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.